A 54 year old grandfather who suffered terrible injuries when his motorcycle was hit head on by a car in May recently came home from the hospital. Now, police say the driver in that crash had cocaine and opioids in his system at the time of the accident. Mike Adams lost a leg and suffered many broken bones, but despite a long recovery in front of him, Adams is determined to get back on open road again. New Center Bay's Vivian Lee has the story from Norwich Walk. Where is Lava B? Okay. Every day, Mike Adams is getting stronger. Two, three. Today, he is fighting to get out of his chair on his own and learn how to use a walker. Amazing, even to his own doctors, and this is why. He flew over the car, um, and unfortunately, I saw his face hit the ground. Mike, his wife Leslie, and several friends were on motorcycles heading north on Route 4 last May. They were riding behind Mike when this car, driven by Jacob Carlton, crossed the center line, slamming into Mike, who couldn't get out of the way. Now, a nurse on an EMT drove by the scene. They, along with another rider, sprang into action to help save Mike's life. They helped stop the bleeding and stabilized him until he could be transported to Central Maine Medical Center in Lewiston. Police later determined Carlton was under the influence of cocaine and opioids. Mike, meanwhile, spent more than 30 days in the ICU. I was in a coma, so I remember waking up, saying, where am I? Mike lost his right leg. A piece of his skull had to be removed due to brain swelling and numerous bones in his body shattered. They were able to save his knee. He had a, um, he, both of his femurs were broken. So he has a plate in his left leg. He has a rod in his right leg. It took several months before Mike was able to get out of bed and into a wheelchair, all the while fighting to get stronger with grit and a positive attitude. He kept a sense of humor, which is good because that made uh, the nurses all like him and the doctors <laughs> like him. <laughs> After spending seven months in the hospital, Mike finally came home earlier this month. The community has rallied around the family as well, raising money to help pay medical bills. The couple is living with Leslie's mom as Mike works on regaining his strength. His motivation? I have a, br a brand new Harley, just like my other one. Right, brand new. I, I will be on a new bike this summer. And his wife will be riding by his side. Good job. In Norwich Walk, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. Good job. Jacob Carlton, the driver of the car that hit Adams, has been charged with six felonies, including two counts of aggravated assault, two charges of reckless conduct with dangerous weapon, and two charges of driving to endanger. He has pleaded not guilty and could go on trial sometime later next spring.